Hi guys and welcome back to another Let's Build episode. So last time we were building up the arena and in this episode we're going to get onto some more houses and actually build up more of the city of Lawsport. Now if you're new to the channel at all we do a lot of tutorials and time lapses just like this one so make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also guys if this is your first time watching this series I'll leave a link in the card above and also in the description to not only the playlist for the Lordsport series, but also for the full Let's Build Pataria series. Anyway, let's get into building. So now that we've finished up the arena, uh, and this is the reason I wanted to, is to see how much space I've actually got and where I want certain roads going to. So I actually want to build a ramp because I really love the Merchant Guild Tower. Um, and I wanted to have the kind of like view as you're walking down the road so you can actually see it. So rather than having lots of houses kind of over um, hanging the actual road, I wanted to build another kind of path which also helps us to get up to that upper level and really creates a separation in height as well in the city itself. So we've got it at an angle to match the road which is of course angled as well. Uh, so this was quite a lot of fun to try and figure out how am I going to make it look good uh, and also what kind of steepness of the angle etc and so forth. But there we go, we've got a nice big path there. We've also got a nice area underneath and if anyone has an idea of what we can do, I was tempted to do uh, something similar to uh, to Novigrad from The Witcher 3 as well where we have you know the whole baths underneath there but I might just go over the restaurant but let, let me know in the description guys it'd be really useful. Um, and then just on the side of the road here then just putting in a couple little areas of where I want the houses so again using just, just using different coloured walls to separate out different houses. Uh, this is just like totally invaluable uh, and I would definitely recommend doing it if you guys are building up a city. So getting on to the first building, I wanted these ones, especially on this bit of a road, um, this kind of like path going up, to look fancier. So what I wanted to do is make them quite big, make them quite grand, have lots of windows going on them. With this one in particular, I ended up going with yellow, so it's a colour I haven't actually used in the city yet, but using a mix of the concrete and also of uh, clay as well. That's really turned out well, and it actually it's one of my favourite colours now for housing, surprisingly. It's one of those things, you know, you, d you don't know it until you try it, and then it looks really good. And actually just using the brick as well on the top here uh, for the roof. Coming up with lots of different uh, style designs here, using spruce and also using jungle. Jungle seems to work really well with these colours um, so continuing that on uh, but I absolutely love this house uh, it's actually so far one of my more favourite houses we've got a nice warehouse down the bottom of it and then at, at the top we're going to have uh, some more places there so we might actually have that one as a shop and if you guys have ideas for the shops on this street again let me know in the comments below um, so then building up another house and yep this time again it's going to be another shop so keep on giving you uh, give me ideas as I am doing interiors of these and um, even when I don't get onto the interiors I'm putting down a sign so that at some point when I come back into it I know what's going on so building up again using that kind of orange colors um, I really like the kind of orange and that kind of clay um, color that we've got the hardened clay color I think it just looks really good it's a really good color um, so now onto the side I want to build a really big building uh, so because we're so close to the arena I thought right we need to build like a big pub we need to build a big pub we need to build a big inn where people come and stay and where they get a drink or they get some food uh, between matches etc and so forth it just seems the perfect kind of thing I also wanted to join it over so we have another another archway uh, as you guys know I seem to love these but making use of that space this time going with a wooden one rather than a stone one which connects onto one of the buildings that we've done in a previous episode when we're doing the marketplace Going for that kind of typical, uh, almost like birch planks, that yellowish tone, not not bright yellow, but that the more mellow yellow tone, uh, and just you know filling up the roof as normal. But yeah, with this one making it big, so we've got a big big area um, for people to come in, sit down, uh, grab a drink, grab some food, etc. and so forth. From there, uh, underneath we're going to have, and, and because of all the the hills as well, this has been really good with all of these houses. Most of them have a basement layer where we can have all of those ales stored away, uh, and then up above we're going to have different areas for people to actually stay uh, when you know they're coming into the town, for example. So just onto the side of the building here, just putting in the little bits of details that we didn't do when we did the market episode. And I left that on purpose so that we could then fill in the details on the side here, putting up some stairs going to each of those. And again, the same as well in those little gaps. These are perfect for this kind of thing and just putting in those uh, nice little windows and giving it a bit of a style from it. 
And then just onto the back of this one, filling this one up with detail. This actually turned out to be the second floor of this one from the other side. Um, is perfectly on level with this road. It just happened to be, I don't know how. So we're gonna have a shop on that level. So we can have shops on the bottom level and shop on the top level, but you get into them in different places. Then just adding in more details onto the inn itself. And here is the finished build for this episode, guys. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. It's nice and open when you go in. It's also added this level of depth. And of course, I love the archway, <laughs> as you would kind of imagine. I'm just loving these. Um, and actually the wood effect really works with it underneath here. But there we go, we've got the nice inn, we've got um, a couple more shops and a couple more houses as well to fill up another part of the city of Lordsport. Anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Also if you enjoyed this episode make sure to comment, like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one.